We are so caught up, many of us, in the headlong dash of daily life. We're so marinated in this culture of speed, busyness, and stimulation that we often lose sight of the damage that it does to every aspect of our lives. And often when we get stuck in fast forward like that, it takes a, a shock to the system, a wake up call, something to make us realize that we've forgotten how to slow down and it's doing us real harm. So I started traveling around and investigating as a journalist. And what I found was that wherever you go, you find that more and more people are doing the unthinkable. They're slowing down in every walk of life. And they find that rather than what conventional wisdom tells us, which is that if you slow down, you're lazy, you're boring and bored, you're unproductive, you're roadkill. The opposite turns out to be true. They find that by slowing down judiciously, slowing down at the right moments, that they do everything better, that they work better, they play better, they live better. And in this rising tide of deceleration, by the seeds mm. of what more and more people refer to now as the international slow movement or the slow revolution. And it's important to remember that when you talk about slow, it's not an extremist movement. It's not a fundamentalist movement. It's not about going back to the old days and doing everything at a snail's pace. I can't think of anything worse than swapping the cult of speed for the cult of slowness. Speed is great. It's about relearning the lost art of shifting gears. It's about understanding that there are moments to be fast and moments to be slow. It's about trying to do everything not as fast as possible, but as well as possible.